Hello, my dear friends. Greetings to you all in the mighty name of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is Kumar. Uh, greets you on behalf of Jesus for All Generations Ministries from India and on behalf of our, uh, our family as well. Okay, as uh, uh, as as much as concerning today. Uh, especially we uh, organize uh, an online Zoom Sunday service, but it is uh, without music, <laughs> without singing, uh, without collecting offerings, without uh, anything, but except with presenting the word of God unto you are because our heart is to strengthen the body of Jesus Christ across all over the world. And wanted to preach the gospel, wanted to teach the word of God and healing the sick people. So uh, please uh, give some more time for hearing the word of God and uh, receiving the word of God for your for bearing your fruit in your personal lives or personal ministries, 34, 64, or 104. Amen. Hallelujah. So today's um, uh, scripture for our title or for our subject is from the Holy Bible, uh, book of Genesis, 22nd chapter, verse 2. one and two, okay? And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said unto him, uh, Abraham, and he said, behold, here I am. And he said, take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and get thee into the land of Moriah, and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell thee of. Hallelujah. So this is a, a very interesting subject. But my concern here is, according to the revelation knowledge of Jesus Christ, um, was given unto me, to talk on our um, Christian lives that uh, stands as an offering unto God. Last time I spoke, our let our Christian lives be like an epistle. That's what Apostle Paul expresses unto the Church of Corinth, and. Uh, and um, he also mentioned, let your, uh, to, to the church of Philippians, let your, let your lives be like a gospel of Christ. Now, God is talking. So we, I have talked on that. That our Christian lives be like an epistle and as well as a gospel of Christ, epistle of Christ, gospel of Christ. And here, God's word is speaking on offering. He was asking Isaac as an offering. He was asking to Abraham, his called and chosen. And he got the promised son he was enjoying with his son but God asked his loving son Abraham's loving son which Abraham loved very much as an offering hallelujah Actually, God never asked 
people as an offering, as a sacrificial offering, as a burnt offering. But the meaning is here, like an illustration, he illustrated the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God with so many parables and illustrations. But here the symbolic meaning of Isaac stands for an offering and excuse me and let our lives be like an offering unto God. That's what I mean talking to you. God does like us to offer ourselves unto him. So my friends, we are not to live like we uh, 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 in any way like that, uh, that we like. We have to live on the earth for God liking, for God to like us. That's what we are his people, we are his children, we are his God, we are his anointed, we are his sons, and we are his people. I'm talking to the church, not to the rest of the countries, uh, not, not the rest of the people in, this, in these countries or in this world. I'm talking to the church. So how you like, how you're spending your life or how you're wasting your time, how you are wasting all the talents or gifts of God that given unto you, Are you working on them for God? Or are you working on them for God? That's, that's, that's my question here. And the word of God is speaking here. Jesus himself offered unto God. Jesus himself offered unto God as a sacrifice and as an offering. That's what Apostle Paul speaks in his um, episode of um, Ephesian, Ephesians uh, chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5, okay? Jesus. Let me read it for you, okay? See here. Chapter 5, 2, verse 2. And walk in love as Christ also hath loved us and hath given himself for us. He has given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling, for a sweet smelling Sarah. Okay. He himself given himself offered as an offering, as a sacrifice to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God gave his begotten son unto this world. God also gave his begotten son unto this world. Jesus himself offered through the spirit of God. That's what the book of Hebrews 9, 14 speaks. Huh? Okay. Let me, let me speak to you, okay, my friends. How much more shall the blood of Jesus Christ, 
who through the eternal spirit offered himself jesus offered himself through the eternal spirit of god the spirit of god means holy spirit jesus himself offered to god and uh, uh, 1 john 3:16 speaks hereby perceive with the love of god because he laid down his life for us we are to lay down our lives for the brother because i did not i did not do anything for my salvation you did not do anything for your salvation we guard them we guard it freely in jesus christ because god has done everything in his son and jesus has done for our salvation everything for our salvation he he made the way for our salvation for our forgiveness forgiveness for our redemption for our deliverance for our healing for our uh salvation praise jesus if jesus did not offer himself if jesus did not submit himself unto god how then we can get salvation he was given himself he offered himself he presented himself so you so we have to live like him we have to give ourselves to god we have to uh offer ourselves to god jesus hallelujah praise jesus and abraham and god asked abraham uh, to uh, offer his son as a burnt offering and he did that abraham also did that see there genesis 12 verse 11 i think so and the angel of the lord called unto him out of heaven said abraham abraham and he said here i am and he said lay not thy hand upon the lad neither do thou anything unto him for now i know that thou fearest god seeing thou hast not withheld thy son he did not get back to give your son unto me for me to me hallelujah so he did that he did that my friends and what happened in the life of hanna hanna also she vow she 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 had she has made a vow with god in 1 samuel 111 okay let me go there and she vow a vow and said o lord of hosts if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget thine handmaid but will give unto thine handmaid a man child then i will give him unto the lord all the days of the life i will give him and there shall no razor come upon his head that's her woe that's her woe with god he was asking a boy a, a male child and she wants to dedicate him she wants to give him back to the lord as an offering See, she is offering before of Samuel's birth. 
See, he sees dedicating him before of his birth. That is why God knows us before of our birth. Hallelujah. Verse 26. And she said, O my Lord, as thou soul, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman that should buy thee here. I praying unto the Lord for this child I prayed. For this child I prayed, and the Lord hath given me my petition which I asked of him. Therefore, also I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he liveth, he shall be lent to the Lord. And he worshiped the Lord there. See, has made her promise fulfillment. God answered her prayers and God gave him a male child. God, God, God gave her a male child and uh, and uh, she was so faithful, Hannah was so faithful to give him back again unto the Lord for the Lord's service. Here, in the book of uh, 2 Samuel, uh, uh, 1 Samuel chapter 2, 11, 11th word speaks here. And Elkanah went to Rama to his house, and they returned back after dedicating that child. And the child did minister unto the Lord before Eli, the priest. See there. The offering is being used in the ministry. And the offering works in the ministry. The offering ministering. Hallelujah. And then uh, 20 First word, and the Lord visited Hannah so that she conceived and bare three sons and two daughters. And the child Samuel grew before the Lord. And, and that offering was growing before the Lord. It's ministering and it's growing. Because of that offering growth, Hannah and Elkanah, they were blessed. Hannah conceived again three sons and two daughters because he gave an offering to God. She was barren before. Hallelujah. So the so the, the offering shall minister the offering shall grow before God. Hallelujah. Apostle Paul was talking in a new different language. The fourth point I am talking to you. He was speaking to the church of Corinthians um, uh, and 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 2. For I am jealous. Okay, say, say, say 1 and 2. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly and indeed bear with me. Okay. For I am jealous over you with godly jealous. For I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. I have, I present you, I may present you as a chaste, I just wanted to present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. A pure virgin. 
a holy worship virgin that commit not any mistake or any sins or in any adultery it should not have any iniquity or sin or, or any trespass so i want you to live as a, a pure uh, as a holy or as a chaste as a chaste virgin hallelujah hallelujah so we have to uh, we have to uh, present ourselves unto god or to christ as a as a pure and holy pure and holy worship hallelujah is a pure and holy worship Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah, I am just editing that our Christian life has been offering to God. Okay? Praise Jesus. Okay, that's right. So let your lives, uh, if you, if you, are uh, uh, if your life uh, is like an offering to God, let your life like be a chest or pure or holy watch. Holy watch. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And in the book of uh, Psalm 96, 7 to 8 verses, and 100 chapter 4, and 110 Psalm verse 3 speaks that, give unto the Lord the glory by your offered life. I cannot read them all because I don't like to extend this subject uh, a longer and longer. Number six, give always, even though in your poorness or penury, give always to God. Give always to God. Give always to God, even in your penury. Even in your penury. Okay? even in your lackness, even in your poor poverty, even in your, in your poorness. There is an example here, a beautiful example here. Um, in the book of uh, uh, Luke, uh, chapter 21. Okay? What the word of God is speaking here. From verses from one to four. And he looked up and saw the rich men uh, casting their gifts into the treasury. And he saw also a certain poor widow casting in neither two mites. And he said, of your truth, I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they are. For all these have of their abundance cast into the all cast in unto uh, the offering of God, the offerings of God. Hallelujah. Mm. But see, of her penury had cast in all the living that she had. All the living that she had. She was a poor widow. She has less money, only two mites, but she gave everything, her life, to God. That's the, that's the submission to God. That's the yielding and that's the uh, obeying life of Christ. Hallelujah. Like that we have to live, my friends. Like that we have to live. Praise Jesus. 
Hallelujah. So we have to give and give to God all the time. And it's more blessed to give than to receive. Book of Acts 20, 35 speaks. It is more blessed. It's more blessed to give than to receive. That's what the that's the word of God speaking here. Hallelujah. 2035. I have showed you all things. How that show lab bring e art to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus. How he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. This ministry helps to support the weak. Like today, in these days, there is pandemic season and there is COVID consequences. There are so many pastors, families, or in each and every uh, country, there are so many families are suffering from COVID-19. Some of them are under treatment. Some of them are under, uh, uh, under, uh, 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 under difficulties, financial difficulties. So many of them are on ventilators. So many, unfortunately, passed away. So when the church loses people, pastors, believers, with this COVID-19, and then the church becomes weak. We have to do something to give unto the families, unto those families. That is strengthening the body of Jesus Christ. Strengthen the weak. Support the weak. A beautiful word. Support the weak, hallelujah. But help the weak, support the weak, strengthen the weak. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. So it is more blessed to give than to receive. I'm talking on giving, I'm talking on offering. A given life, an offered life, a sacrificial life, a present life. Give yourself to God as an offering. It's a blessed life. Hallelujah, according to the scriptures, it's a blessed life. And uh, one more word here. We have to know very importantly from the book of uh, Proverbs, chapter 11 and verse 24. There is that scattered. There is that Scattered the seed. What, what is scattered? Scattered and at increase it. And at increase it. And there is that withholdeth more than is made, but tended to poverty. So many people are not exercising war with this world. They have treasures they have to give to God according to the uh, uh, law of giving, according to the freedom of giving, according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. But they give less than that and they become poor. They, 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 br they are bringing forward to over their lives. But some scattered the seed and the seed increased in their life. 
there is that scattereth and at increaseth. And there is that which holdeth more than is made, but it tendeth to poverty. So give yourself to God, my friend. Scatter the seed. Don't look into the grounds. Scatter. Don't look to the character of a ministry or a pastor or something like that. Give, 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 give. Give always. Give to God yourself. Hallelujah. And the last word that uh, uh, I want to mention you from the book of uh, Romans 12th chapter, verse 1 and 2. I beseech you, brothers, therefore, by the message of God, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Okay? Present your bodies. A living sacrifice. A sacrifice means offer, given to God. We are given to God, not to any others. We're not given to devil, to the devil. We're not given to any other people or any other uh, 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 atmosphere or to any other organization, but we are giving people to God as an offering, as a sacrifice. <laughs> we offer to God. We become an offering to God. So let me uh, ask you a question. See there? How many people, how many, how many points I have told to you? Nine points, okay? Jesus was given an offering as an offering to God, okay? Not unto God, but to God. Let, let, let me, okay. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God has asked Abraham to offer his son unto him. Uh, to him, okay? And Abraham gave his son to God. Hallelujah. Hannah made a woe with God to give her son to God, okay? And Hannah did that. You have to give your life or present your, yourselves as a, as a chaste with a virgin to Christ, okay? Give to the Lord the glory by your offering life. Give always, even in your penury. It is more blessed to give than to receive. There is that scattered and it increases and present your bodies a living sacrifice. Okay? Hallelujah. We are all saved because of Jesus was given unto God. Amen. Hallelujah. And let us think that how many can be saved if we truly present or given to God ourselves as an offering. God is looking for, the, for these kind of people on the earth from his church. So my friends, let us do it and live like an offering to Christ or, or as an offering of God for many souls to be saved in Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, my friends. If there is no given life, if there is no offer life, if there is no uh, presenting life yourself to God, that life is has has nothing meaning on the earth. God cannot use that kind of life for for leading many people unto the salvation. But God likes to lead you 
if you are given to God, if you are offered to God, if you, so that, that there, is, there is, Apostle John was speaking in 1 John 3, 16. So we have to, we have to do to God. Because Jesus was given for us as a living sacrifice, as, as an offering, and as a sacrifice, so that we have to give in, we have to be given to God for so many people's salvation in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So let our Christians like, uh, let, let our Christians' lives, lives be like an offer, offering to God. Let our Christians' lives be an offering to God. God bless you, my friends. Let me pray for you. I'm country business. Hallelujah. Father God, bless all the people that those who are in these worlds, your message, and help them to live as an offering to you so that you can save many souls through these brothers and sisters that those who are given right now to you and who, those who are offered to you, those who are presented to you, a living sacrifice as an offering. Bless their families, ministries, and personal lives. Save many souls. Christ Jesus, through this by using these people, by using this offering, like that offering is ministering and that offering is growing before they. Hallelujah. Like that, use these offerings, our lives, in your ministry and in the growth for others to be blessed. We give you all glory and honor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May the love of God and the grace of our dear Lord Jesus Christ answer the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit shall be abiding with us now and forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hello, my friends. Uh, thanks for watching. And, uh, and thanks for hearing and uh, please receive this word and uh, um, I'm not an English man to speak fluently, but express all the emotions or, or all the inner meaning, uh, like in like you all, like you in this people. But however, we dare to minister the word of God in uh, foreign language because we have not studied in English medium. But whatever the language that I have learned is from God at the cross of Calvary. So I just wanted you all to. Uh, listen to this word message and receive and uh, wanted you to bear your food 34 uh, 64 and 104 uh, and also I just uh, wanted to give you a couple of uh, prayer requests before I leave this is a Sunday service you are free to give to the to, the, to honor the word of God secondly we are asking your prayers uh, for our church building project in India. Um, we want to build a church building. We have been in the ministry for over 20 years. Uh, 20 years in India, South and forth, as a full-time minister, minister, my wife and me, ministering in my kids. I have two sons, or we have two sons. And um, we were serving God over several years and we don't have a house building, we don't have a church building. That's why we are praying for a double floor building project so that we can use the down floor for our living and the first floor for the church building. Uh, so we just wanted you to keep prayers and, and uh, uh, join us as partners uh, in this project as the Lord leads you. And thirdly, we are 
our family and our ministry, Jesus for all generations, ministries in India needs, uh, 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 we are under need of uh, having, uh, raising friends and partners, uh, regular monthly base, basic partners, and who can help our family and as well, who can help our ministry uh, for the work of God in India, for advancing the gospel in India, for the work of the kingdom of God in India. So please pray on these things and consider to get involved with us and we ask you to be partnering with us in the work of the kingdom of God, especially in India. Love you so very much. God bless you. Please do not hesitate to ask us any address details as the Lord leads you to come and join with us as partners. God bless. Bye-bye. Love you. Hallelujah.